So, determine the limit value for each of the following function. So, you see here, A. So, we know 0 over 0 cannot be below zero, above 0 or below 0. If we get any of this situation, we have to factorize or conjugate. Okay, since we have said, so usually we do conjugate. But this one we can factorize also. Never mind, we just go with it first. So, here limit x approaching 0 so here i have set 1 plus 2x minus set 1 minus 2x divided by x so you see here x is approaching 0 so when you substitute the x automatically you will get 0 so you have to conjugate because you cannot factorize that right you can conjugate so which is equal to okay. so first how to do Conjugate. So, actually, why we do conjugate? So, conjugate is actually, we are trying to make it into a square minus b square form. So, what happen is, so, this one is equal to a minus b, a plus b. So, we will, we will make it this way, so that it will end it up this way. Why? Because we have square root. When we square the square root, then the square root will be removed and you can calculate. So, this is what we do. So, we will multiply the same value but then with the so positive. So, we, we multiply with the different sign. So, negative will multiply with positive. So, positive will multiply with negative. So, in this case, you see here this one is negative. So, we will multiply it with positive. So, this one positive 1 plus 2x plus you see this one is negative. So, this one is positive. So, this one will be 1 minus 2 x divided by. So, this one will divide the same. 1 plus 2 x plus set 1 minus 2 x. So, here when you multiply. So, you see here a square minus b square. So, you get the first one would be squared. And you will get minus. And the back one will be squared as well. Squared. Divided by, so x will be multiplied with this. So I forget to put the limit, x will put in 0. So this one would be set 1 plus 2x plus set 1 minus 2x. So here you can cut the, you can cut the square root because square root and square is equal to. So you see here, a square square root square you can cut off the square and square root and you will get a so this is what i do so here limit x approaching zero so i get here is one plus two x minus so this one is minus minus time like time one you get minus one and minus time minus two x you get plus two x so this one is equal to x times third 1 plus 2x plus third 1 minus 2x. So here limit x approaching 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 plus 2x is 4x. Divided by this one is x. So third 1 plus 2x plus 1 minus 2x. So you see here you can cut x and here x because you have factorized this. So x and x can be cut. So you have limit x approaching 0 for divide. So set 1 plus 2x plus set 1 minus 2x. So you see here when you uh, let when you substitute the value of x, you won't get 0 below or 0 above anymore. So now we can substitute. So, which is equal to 4. So, you, you should only substitute when you are sure. When you substitute the value, you won't get 0 above or 0 below. So, here I get 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 minus 2 times 0. So, you get 4. And then here you get 1 plus 1, which is 4 divided by 1 plus 1. 4 divided by 2. So, you get 2 for this one. So, B, limit x approaching 4, 3 minus set x plus 5 divided by x minus 4. So, you see here, this one is 4. So, if you directly substitute, you get 4 minus 4, which is 0. So, you cannot factorize here, but you can do conjugate. 
So you see here, conjugate a minus b, a plus b, you will get a square minus b square. This is what we wanted to do because we wanted to remove the third. So here you will multiply with, so this one is negative. So we would multiply with 3 plus, you see this one is a, this one is a, and this one is b. So this one is third x plus 5b. So when you multiply above with this one, you have to also multiply below with the same thing. So here. So you will get limit. So as long as you don't have the, you don't want to substitute yet, you have to put the limit in front. Lah. So 3, it would 3 square. So minus x plus 5 square divided by, this one would be x minus 4 times so plus 3 x plus 5. So here limit x approaching 4. So you see here 3 square is 9. So you can remove the set and square. So negative times x is minus x. Negative, negative times 5 is minus 5. So here is divided by so this one is x minus 4 and this one is 3 plus x plus 5. So you see here limit x approaching 4. So 9 minus x minus 5 we get 9 minus 5 is 4. So 4 this one is 4 minus x divided by x minus 4. 3 plus third x plus 5. So you see here, this one is 4 minus x, this one is x minus 4. It is the same element, but then you see the uh, the different uh, the symbol is opposite. This one is negative 4, this one is positive 4, this one is negative x, this one is positive x. So to make it equal, you have to change place. So here, so 4 minus x is equal to negative x minus 4. So you see here, when you change negative x to positive x and positive x to negative x, you have to add negative in front. And you see negative times x is negative x, negative times negative 4, you get 4. So this is basically the same thing. Why I change it? Because I want to make it equal with the below one so that I can cancel out. So here, x minus 4, 3 plus x plus 5. So you see here, I can eliminate x minus 4. So I have negative 1 here. So here limit x approaching 4 is equal to negative 1 divided by 3 plus third x plus 5. So you see here when you substitute you won't get any 0 or 0 anymore. So you can directly substitute which is equal to this one is negative 1 3 plus x is equal to 4 plus 5. So you get negative 1 divided by 3 plus third 9 which is which is equal to negative 1 divided by 3 plus 3. So you get negative 1 over 6. So this one is negative 1 over 6. So C, you have limit x approaching 3, x squared minus 5, x plus 6 divided by 2 minus third x plus 1. So you see here, if you can substitute here without getting 0, so you can directly substitute. But then if you get 0, you have to do conjugate. So in this case, you see you have 3 here, so we check. So this is x square. So you have 3 square minus 5, 3 plus 6. So you get 9 minus 15 plus 6. And then you get well, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So you get 0. So obviously you have to do conjugate. But if you don't get 0, you can directly substitute. It's something like that. It doesn't matter if the set is above or below, but as long as you get 0, you have to do conjugate, right? Because you see here, this one is above, this one is above, and this one is below. But you get 0. Okay, so here is that we have to do conjugate of this point. And then we have, and then if can, we can factorize, we factorize this one. So we can do 2 at one time. So here I want to factorize, so x squared minus 5x plus 6. 
So I can see 6 is equal to 2 times 3, and this one is negative 5. This one is positive, means the two symbol is equal. So this one is negative, means negative 2 plus negative 3, you will get negative 5. So this one is x minus 2, x minus 3. Okay, so here limit x approaching 3, this one would be x minus 2, x minus 3. And then below we have 2 minus third, x plus 1. So you see here, you want to do conjugate. So here, this one is 2 minus x plus 1. So it means you multiply with 2 plus x plus 1. See, negative times positive, then you will get this square minus this square. So this one is should be equal to plus x plus 1. So here, limit x approaching 3 is equal to, this one would be x minus 2, x minus 3, and then this one is 2 plus, third x plus 1. So below here would be 2 square minus, so this one would be third x plus 1 square. So this one is limit x approaching 3, so x minus 2, x minus 3, so 2 plus x plus 1 divided by, so this one is 2 square, means 4 minus, so you see here third and square can be cut off, so you get negative times x is minus x, negative times positive 1, you get negative 1. So here limit x approaching 3 x minus 2, x minus 3, 2 plus x plus 1, divided by, this one is 4 minus 1 is 3 minus x. So you see, so limit x approaching 3, so you want to change it into x minus 3, so you change base, so you will be x minus 2, x minus 3, 2 plus set x plus 1, divided by, negative x minus 3. So you see here when you want to change from 3 minus x to x minus 3, you just change place and then you add negative. But this one and this one is actually similar because you see negative x. Negative times x is negative x here and negative negative, we get 3 here. Uh, actually, if you don't want to change the below one, you can also change the above one where when you change to 3 minus x, you will need to add negative in front. So, in this case, you can cut off this too. So, you have negative 1 here. So, everything divided by negative 1, you will get negative value. So, x approaching 3. So, this one is negative. x minus 2. This one would be 2 plus third x plus 1. So, you see here when you substitute, you, not, you no longer get 0 above or 0 below because it's only, this is not fraction here. So, here negative. This one would be 3 minus 2. 2 plus 3, 3 plus 1. You just substitute 3 with x with 3. So here, which is equal to negative 3 minus 2 is 1. This one is 2 plus 3 plus 1 is set 4. So negative 1, 2 plus 2. So negative 1 times 4, you get negative 4.